Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode 9 of the Complex 1 Complete Walkthrough series. And uh, in this episode, we are going to talk about the comb delay. The comb delay, um, which is a comb filter that is applied with delay and there's harmonics and there's all kinds of weird stuff going on with it. Um, and, you know, just as an example of a a patch that uh, does something with comb delay. So this is a patch I created uh, that uh, is in the free sample, uh, free batch of, of patches. You can download it from Zombified Shark. The link is below. Um, and uh, it's one of many things, one of many ways you could use comb delay. So let's, let's, you know, the, and. <laughs> You can see there's a lot going on there. Uh, so we won't start with that. We're going to start simple and we're going to come to that. Um, not really, but we're, we're going to get to understand what it actually does. Let's go back to a very basic patch. Okay, so this is your in initiate patch. Um, let's just start simple by running this into input and running that out. And uh, you can watch on the Melda Analyzer I have over here, watch how it affects the uh, your frequencies on the analyzer. Then we also have the oscilloscope down here that uh, you'll see, you might see something happening on that as well. Uh, so, so here, you know, no change in this initially, right? So let's, let's go full wet. And, and it did change a little bit, change some upper end high harmonics. And you can see it change the shape a little bit if you look at the oscilloscope. So now let's play with this pitch option. And you see how it's got, this is one of those weird ones that's got all these things that feed back into the thing and they do the thing. Um, and here, gain. Let's just bump it, bump up the gain there. Um, so comb pitch. So you can, if you were looking at the uh, oscilloscope while I was doing that, then you saw the harmonics, getting less and less harmonics. It's harmonically not as rich, but as you... So if it's reminding you of a flanger, then, you know, that makes sense because it's doing some of the same things that a flanger does. Um, now, how do we get this to do more stuff, right? So you have this comb pitch amount and that can, well, you know, here, we'll just do good old LFO. And then you have the option to route this back into these other pieces that are then going to affect the pitch. Uh, I'm not going to hit that, I'll hit it, but rather than, we're going to see what these do without that, right? So take that off. So you have comb frequency. And now if I change that, because this is anything I change here, you see the arrow goes up, over, down, it's going to affect this. So you see that comb frequency is affecting my pitch and my harmonics. Then if we want to change where the peak is, this should be fun.
And that's where it starts to self-oscillate. When you get that peak all the way up. And that filter frequency is controlling that. Once you hit, if you turn the comb peak to a certain level, you know, high 90s, and then once you get your frequency to a certain point, then it starts to self-oscillate. And you get weird, cool, harmonic things going on. I'll back that off some. And then you have the actual comb feedback. So you can kind of, there's a balancing act you can find between the feedback, the peak, and the filter frequency. Since we have a dry wet knob down here, then you can do this. Like you can get this thing to just go bananas, but you can use your dry wet knob and back it off. Now let's go back and revisit our comb pitch amount will automate it and then we turn it on comb pitch to frequency so with these extreme amounts that we're doing here then you're getting this harmonic fluctuation but if you know you back off your feedback and whatnot and it's a flanger And, you know, again, just for fun. And yeah, just don't forget your dry wet knob down here because it can kind of spiral out of control pretty quickly. So this is kind of interesting here. So I'm, I'm run my gate to my filter frequency. But look at that. It's, it's like it's a little living thing. You can see that. That's wild. So it's a it's that uh, self oscillating pitch, and it suddenly has a mind of its own where it's just sort of just moving around like a, a little freaky alien. So that's the comb delay. Those are all of the different things that it does. And um, it's the important part about it is really understanding how each of these pieces interacts with the other. Uh, and, and obviously it's very sensitive uh, when you're adjusting these. Uh, so you, when you're looking at it, um, keep in mind what's done inside this little brown box here, a little gray box, uh, is going to immediately feed back into here, but 
Uh, each one of these is kind of a knob you can, uh, or a lever you can pull to just slightly tweak something different. And then if it goes over the top, you have the dry wet where you can actually pull it back and make it more musical or send it over the top and make it take over um, depending on what your use is. So just a very powerful uh, little unit and just barely touching on uh, the cool sounds it can make. Um, those are just some kind of the typical things you would do with it. So uh, spend some time with it, get to understand it, uh, and just run any old thing you're doing. Run it through there so that uh, you can see, oh, if I run it through here, it does this. Um, and, and just include it in your routing chain so you can get used to it. Um, and that's it for the comb delay. The next episode, we're going to talk about the all-important LFO. It's all about LFOs, low-frequency oscillator. Uh, so that one won't take very long. There's not a lot here, but it is very important. If you don't know LFOs, then you definitely want to watch that episode. Thank you for your eyes and ears on this. Like and subscribe. You know how that stuff goes. Let me know you appreciate this content. Uh, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Much appreciated for you being here. Cheers.